West to Harmi and Freon and welcome to another video. Do you remember the uh, video called uh, the Amazon Prime Superfans or Lord of the Rings Superfans Review the Rings of Power official teaser trailer and the yada yada yada. Uh, yeah, it has been unlisted on uh, the Prime Videos YouTube channel and we have discovered you know, on the internets, interwebs, that there have actually been many versions of them in different countries, like, you know, in the United States of America and Britain, or the, you know, UK and Germany, France. And the reactions were, of course, all very similar, even though they were performed by different actors or different people. And I, in my previous videos, I've stated that I refuse to make fun of these kids because they seem to me as being kids. And they are still kids. I mean, they must be younger than I am. I look quite young, but these must be like, what, 20, 21, 22 year old kids. So I'm not going to be making fun of them because they got paid to react uh, excitedly and to say absolutely woke bullcrap. So yeah, you know, so they got paid a lot of money. I mean, a lot of people can be paid right? Uh, but what seems to me very funny uh, among the influencers and YouTubers is the fact that everybody acts as if it was surprising. Suddenly there are, as I have uh, observed, there are like hundreds of videos on the same topic, on the same subject matter. Like in a, in a, in a night, in a single night, there were like 20 videos, 20 new videos <clears throat> about the um, the super fans being exposed as being fake because then uh, there was a, an, an interview with them after the initial reaction and they were responding and no, none of them knew anything. They were answering complete nonsensical stuff and I went like, yeah, so? So? I mean, this is only a proof that Amazon doesn't care and there's a thing that... Uh, it, only a very few people mention here and there in the discussions and that is the firing of Tom Shippey. Apparently he, I don't know, said, uh, the official statement of Amazon was something like that he said something he shouldn't have said. So he, bra so he broke like, you know, like silence treaty. But I don't think so. I don't believe that. I don't, I think that he told them, the Amazon, something that they didn't want to hear. And that you know that's the way they uh, that's why they fired him, and they are hiring actors who don't know anything about anything really, who don't know anything about Tolkien or uh, the law, uh, the Silmarillion, the Unfinished Tales, the Lord of the Rings, and I would just um, like to play a snippet of two videos just to compare the you know two humans or a couple of humans being compared and. Please do compare those who are being hired by Amazon to promote the Rings of uh, Power as opposed to somebody who they fired. So these are apparently the, um, these are the kids, right? Uh, does it work? Of course it doesn't work when I want, yeah. And just gather what we all think. That's what we're here for, that's what we're here for. All right, three words to describe the Rings of Power. Please, Trailer, go. Okay. Breathtaking, I literally didn't breathe. Uh, exhilarating and intriguing. I didn't notice that you weren't breathing. Yeah, I was, no, I was gonna cool. call <laughs> first date. It was like, I was trying, <laughs> but every time I was like, okay, take a breath, something new would happen, then it was like, <gasps> Really, it's a trailer. Fourth your chair? <laughs> no, no way. Oh, um, I would say like expansive, because yeah. we're getting this like whole new look into the second age on screen, and it's gonna be so amazing. I also wanna say, representative because we're getting like more diversity within this series that's the word that's that's the word ding 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 that's the word that wins today it wins everything not intriguing but representation diversity now every single word screams that they know no nothing like Jon Snow knew more than they do. Wow. Very strong. Word. That is like the word for the, for the next piece of trailer. Yeah. Just like popping up yeah. with your name in the byline. <laughs> so, in the teaser trailer, and obviously a lot of stuff we've probably read about Wait. it, we're introduced to the first black elf. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, here we go. First, uh, female dwarf. Now, diversity, especially on screen. 
screen as an actor means a lot to me. As an actor. Growing up, I hardly had that. You know, watching TV. He admitted that he's an actor, so. My color. So it's exciting to see. What are we? What are we even talking about? Explored in the rings of power. What are your thoughts on the casting decision? That's what I want to hear. Now, listen. Talking to it was always about being inclusive. I mean, we see it through the fellowship, like a bunch of people from different backgrounds coming together in order to face a common enemy, being Sauron, and just seeing the casting decisions. It's really, really exciting to see. It's just going to mean so much to like me personally because it's getting that representation in Middle Earth. Young kids are going to see that on screen, and it's just going to be really nice for them to be like, oh, hey, there's someone that looks just like me, uh, being like an elf and a dwarf, and yeah. It's just I don't know. What about you, fellas? Folks, but when I was little, I used to watch Xena, the Princess Warrior. And I loved Star Wars, and I was watching Lando Calrissian, and I loved Lando Calrissian, and I... It even didn't cross my mind that I should look black, because I wanted to be Lando Calrissian. I liked Chewbacca, I didn't want to be all furry, hairy, and tall. I mentioned Xena, the Warrior Princess, I didn't want to be a woman. But I love these characters. Uh, so, you know, it's it's just the ding 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 word today, you know. Represent more, more representation! But I'm not making fun of these kids. Now listen to just a snippet of interview with Tom Shippey. And that guy, he is the expert on Tolkien in the world. Anybody says, I'm the expert on Tolkien, such as my own professor expert from one of my previous videos. I mean, yes, they could know a lot, but Tom Shippey is uh, the authority on Tolkien in the world. Listen to him. And he was giving interviews in the uh, 90s for documentaries. Couldn't have got it more wrong. I think uh, my favourite comment is by the reviewer in the Times Literary Supplement, uh, 25th November 1955, who uh, nailed his colours to the mast. He said, um, this is not a work that many adults will read right through more than once. Well, that must have seemed to save better the time because uh, it's 1,200 pages long and you wouldn't expect many people to read it right through more than once. But actually, of course, they have. It is a book which has been read through by an enormous number of adults many more times than once. Another classic, I think, really. Again, uh, you know, a book when people might possibly have, have learned better. This book says, talking in a very advanced critical language, that The Lord of the Rings is... Even from the speech of the man himself, you know that he is a bit more learned, a bit more educated, a bit more civilized. And it's not just, you know, him uh, speaking a proper RP and being an academic and a scholar and a true intelligent man. But please look him up on YouTube. I, as I said, he gave interviews to documentaries in uh, the 90s. There is a, a beautiful documentary about Tolkien uh, narrated by uh, the dame Juni De uh, Judy Dench. Ugh, sorry. I am blanking and brain farting right now. Uh, Judy Dench. Um, is this his name? M from James Bond. And uh, it, it was like half of the, the, of the entire documentary was interviews with Tom Shippey. So do we have to really talk about the obvious? Do we have to state the obvious that media are fake? I, I, I thought we all knew that. I don't even watch TV anymore. I don't watch news. I don't care about news. I was reading, actually, I was rereading the uh, Silmarillion uh, yesterday evening, and I was uh, sitting on the couch, and uh, somebody came to me, and uh, they started talking about politics. And I went like, no, 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 thank you. Um, so do we have to state the obvious? Do we have to state that media are fake and that we can't believe media? I mean, you can believe what I say, because I'm brutally honest. I don't care about anybody. So, yeah, that's it. Let me know in the comments down below if you think that uh, firing Tom Shippey was a, a, the right decision and hiring a actors who don't know anything about Tolkien was a good decision or a bad decision. Let me know all about it. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And Namarie.